this is rivalry. We have mom first impressions only, she says. We have Rachel's vino win, someone's gonna die before we leave. And Zachary, I just wanna win. It's not fair, the game goes on. So why do you wanna do school? But over the course of a decade and a half, homeschooling my four kids, I have learned there are many things to de-school from, but we don't all want to de-school from the same things. We don't value the same things. We don't see the world the same way. So your reasons for de-schooling might be different from mine. Recently, I had such a delightful de-school class and a coaching conversation really with five homeschool moms. I asked those homeschool moms, why do you want to de-school? One mom said she wants to let loose and follow her child's rabbit trails, but also wants to keep a full schedule and develop a routine. Another mama said she had not yet pulled her child out of school. She has two kids actually, but one's in school, one's not. And she's prepping for it in the fall. So she's learning all about de-schooling now. Another homeschool mom shared why she prefers unschooling and how it has served her kids for the last five years. But de-schooling is still necessary, even five years in. And the other homeschool mom shared how she takes her cues from her seven-year-old son, both in his desire for social activity and also when he's had enough of formal lessons. So we had a chat about how to stay on track and if or that's even necessary. We discussed the concept of gaps in an education we determined what they wanted for their child's education and got clear on their values. They recognized that sometimes we have a hard time clarifying what we want for our kids' education because we're too concerned about what other people think. Sound familiar? Thinking through other people's values for our kids and for their education. Sometimes we're trying to follow our child's cues for when they're done with homeschool lessons. Great, that's awesome. But sometimes we're trying to do the thing because we think it's the most important thing, whatever the task is in front of us. And we had a chat about that, why we were doing that. We had a discussion about schooled versus homeschool socialization. We talked about lifelong learning and how we can get out of our kids' way so they can continue to enjoy learning. From the day they were born, they were born learners. So we just need to get out of their way. We talked about acknowledging that our educational experiences are often the reasons we form and fashion our homeschools as we do. That we can learn to let go of the role of teacher and own the fact that our role as mother is also a teacher. Not coincidentally, let's just call it a mother teacher. We discussed or addressed our kiddos' needs and how we should be more present with them when we're with them. We should acknowledge that we have needs too and the benefits of de-schooling on our lives. So is there a homeschooled mindset that you would like to de-school from? Is there a conventional education mindset that you would like to de-school from? Down below, you're going to see a list of reasons that many homeschool moms have wanted to de-school, but you might add a thing or two to that list. We know that we're trying to leave a schooled mindset behind, but we don't always know what it is we're trying to leave. So take a look at the list. What would you add to the list? Hit rep reply and let me know because I know we're as unique as the prints on our fingers.